Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to open up the um, CPU what block? The EK Quantum Velocity CPU block. Let's get it opened. There we go. Again, uh, lovely. Now, the only thing that we do want to do is with the setup that we're going for, we're going to change the orientation of the in and out um, outlets uh, to horizontal to vertical um, because the way we have our distro plate, um, the tubes are going to be going this way instead of down and up. Uh, so we're going to have to remove this and rotate it and then put it back together. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, now, I do know that we need this lovely Allen key that comes with it. I do remember last time I was like, why is there an Allen key in here? Uh, this is the reason. Um, this is also something you'd do if you were to be cleaning it. Yeah, if you needed to clean your pump out or if, if you have dye in there. Not pump. Uh, Just... Well... The, the, the coal plate. You'll need to do that. So let's remove this, unfortunately. So you can see here, we've got four Allen key parts that we're going to unscrew. take this off <clears throat> oh, it's heavy and there we go there's the pump you can see all the little fins in this direction here and it's important that you um, put the jet plate in a perpendicular, perpendicular way to the fins uh, easy way of finding out about the fins um, obviously visually you can see that they go that way but also you've got these two little bits that are sort of come off the edges here that indicate horizontal so obviously if you have it that way you know it's not horizontal because the nod little nodges are actually vertical at the moment so anyway that goes there then we actually got the jet plate itself it sort of balances and rests in there so turn everything up to them uh, then we take the actual plate i think off yep a little bit of wiggle stuff in quite nicely also where the rgb is so I'm going to put that here to one side. I want to take this off. Which I actually think I sort of accidentally unstuck. Oh, maybe I didn't. That's it off. And see, so we want to now rotate it that way. We want to have the EK logo at the top. Yeah. So when it goes. Like that, that would be the top of the case. So we'll turn it back this way. We'll put this back here. Like so. Make sure the RGB goes in. There we go. And we've got the jet plate. Now, the jet plate's going to turn. I'm going to rotate it that way. I don't think it actually matters, but 
that sits in there there's little rhythm bits here where it sort of sits so it doesn't actually move and then obviously we want to go perpendicular so we're not putting it on that way because that's the same direction so we're turning it that way flipping it over and then lining it up we line it up and then we screw it down There we go. Let's see if we can put this back on. We can. There we have it, guys. We've rotated it so that now we have a vertical uh, outlets. And we've still got the nice logo at the bottom. The um, bracket is in the right position. Just the EK logo has rotated. Yeah, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you have any hints, tips or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you next time.